Yo, what is up guys? Shamus is back here. I'm back with another unboxing for you. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. But if you already are, welcome back now. I got a special unboxing for you guys. Today we'll be unboxing a One Piece statue from Romance to Dawn. This is actually the predecessor to the original One Piece series. This is a licensed statue by Toy Animation and we're going 1-4 scale again, guys. So I can't wait. Let's check out the box. Also, shout out to Living Legend X brand for this dope shirt right here. If you guys want a closer look at it, you got the cool logo right here. But what I really love about this shirt is what's on the back. The back looks extremely dope. He also has another version of this shirt that has water on it and that looks just as sick. If you guys want some of these shirts and some more merch, check out his website. He also has the IG page. I'll put all that in the description. So. I want you guys to check that out. The guy is very talented. He's also a great barber too, so check that out, but let's check out the box. So we have a one layer styrofoam box right here. No fancy Velcro straps. I don't even think we have a coin either or assembly instructions, but we do got the certificate. We got the envelope with the toy animation logo. Here we have the boat, it says Romance Dawn on it. You see all the pieces, Luffy, the body, we have Anne. I'm gonna talk about her in a bit, just in case you guys don't remember who she was, but this looks pretty simple, YouTube. I'm liking what I see. So here's how another base looks like. We have number 243 out of 499 of these. So not a lot were made, and this thing has some weight to it. And here we have the main body, Luffy right here, and once again, I just love the size that these 1-4 scales bring to the table. He has a peg right here, so he's gonna key in right onto the base. What I like also is that this foot right here magnetizes to this part of the boat to keep the statue more steady. All right, so now we're about to put on Luffy's arms right here. You don't see the hand on this one. It's gonna go in his pocket. That's why it doesn't show. This one's gonna hold on to the flag. Now we got the facial scope of Luffy right here. Look at that million dollar smile. And I think Toy Animation did a good job on this facial scope right here. And check out the smile for Anne right here. I think I like this one better than Luffy. You see the details and the pupils on her eye, the paint job. She just looks beautiful. And last but not least, we got the pirate flag right here. This is going to magnetize right on Luffy's arm. All right, guys, we finally got the statue all put together now, and man, simple, but yet beautiful. Putting this statue together was a piece of cake, and I'm just loving what I see, YouTube. When it comes to dimensions, he's at about 22 inches in height, 15 inches in width, 14 inches in depth, and he weighs about 30 pounds. This is a 1-4 scale licensed statue by Toy Animation. I believe this is the first statue that they developed. The idea came from episode 907 in One Piece anime. That was the 20th anniversary special called Romance Dawn. And this iteration right here, Romance Dawn, this is version two. And this came out all the way in 1996. This is a predecessor to the original One Piece series. And with this character right here in the blue hair, her name is Anne. I think it's pronounced Anne. It could be Anne or An, but this was Ichiro Oda's second attempt at making a Nami-like character. So. If you guys want to see what this statue is about, watch episode 907. It's a cool episode and they got this specific statue from one of the scenes in the anime and the manga. The story is slightly different from what's going on in the original series right here, but really fun to watch. And I just love the simple details on this statue right here. There's not too much craziness going on here, but I love the sub base. I really love the water here. Now, it would have been cool if the water was able to light up. That would have been a cool opportunity by Toy Animation, but the details in the water look amazing. It's clear resin. 
the boat that they're on now. This small boat right here, props to Luffy for riding this boat in that special anime because for someone that can't swim, to ride on a boat this small in the water, you gotta have some guts. But man, I love the one four scale. I love the size on these characters right here. I think the facial sculpts look amazing, especially on Anne or Luffy. The straw hat on Luffy looks amazing. They didn't give us a coin, no assembly instructions, but you didn't need it. But we're about to check out this certificate in a bit. But man, great job by Toy Animation right here for their first developed statue, guys. I got no complaints. We're about to go in depth really quick on this statue, starting off with the base and working our way up. And yo, I just love the simplicity, but beautiful aspect of this statue right here. All right guys, before we go in depth with this statue, we gotta check out the certificate. We got the toy animation logo right there. On the back, we got the fancy string. So here we have the certificate. It looks just like the Zoro we unboxed, the China style version with the armor. And we got the certificate. We got number 243 out of 499. You see the toy animation logo. So this looks dope. I love how it feels too. This feels so premium. So this is nice. So here we have the matte black square sub base right here. I think that looks really nice. We also see the Romance Dawn logo right here. You guys see that in the anime. And I just love the water right here. The wave effects that it's making. The green color. So that looks dope. What I really like about this statue, and I don't know if the camera can get the full effect, is that if we move closer up to the boat, we see a shine right here on the paint. This is symbolizing that the boat is getting wet from the water. So I really love the attention to detail that toy animation did on that one. If we work our way up to the boat, you see that wood style to it. You see the details, the metal up here with the scratches. So I think the boat looks amazing. And if we look at what's inside the boat, Luffy and Anne key into the base like that. We also see various items. This looks like a food item, like a piece of meat. We see boxes and barrels and stuff. Kind of the stuff that a typical pirate would have. And here's to give you guys the back view of the boat right here with the water and the sub base. So this is sick. And inside the boat, you can see Luffy's feet right there. You see the details, you see the toenails showing, the sandals, we see the shoes for Anne, wear blue socks. So we're gonna start working our way up to Anne first. And let's look at the paint on her outfit right here. I love the wrinkles on her skirt. The whole outfit just looks dope to me. And I think the skin texture looks really good on Anne right here. If you guys see a closer look at that facial scope right here. Like I said before, I really like her facial scope, especially the eyes, the eyebrows, the eyelashes. You can see her tongue with the blue hair. I love how her arms in the air like that with some shading on it. So, and looks beautiful. I got no complaints about her. Let's take a look at Luffy. I think Luffy looks amazing also. Maybe the paint, the black lines on his teeth could have been a little bit more defined, but other than that, I think everything else looks great about Luffy. That smile that he has classic Luffy hat, classic Luffy smile. And I really love the details on that straw hat right there. The straw hat, and his hair looks really good. If you guys check out his outfit right here, I love the shading. I love how the, the flagpole magnetizes to his arm right there. There's also texture in his pants. I really like the end part right here with his pants too. I think they got the details really nice on that one. Just the texture all throughout his outfit I got no complaints about, you see the skin texture right there, the nice skin tone. So Luffy and Anne look really great in this statue right here. Let's check out that flag right there. Love the details on this flag right here. You can see the wrinkles. I also love how it has the straw hat above the skeleton. I don't know if this classifies as the straw hat logo because this is the predecessor to One Piece, like I said, but love the straw hat. With these things right here, I don't know if those are yeah, they look like hands, so interesting design compared to the current Straw Hat logo that we have today, and man, I don't got any complaints about this statue, and I'm curious what you guys think about it. All right, guys, that was my unboxing of Luffy and Anne from One Piece Romance Dawn by Toy Animation, a licensed statue, and I want to know what you guys think about this statue. I really like it. I think this one's a gem right here, but thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Peace.